And here's your Metal Tech 4x4 two door Bronco installation guide. These are 3 8 flat washers, half inch flat washers. That is the large flat washer. So these are your 3 8 lock washers, half inch lock washers, half inch nut, 3 8 nuts, 7 16 high nut, 3 8 bolts, half inch, inch and a half bolt, 4 and 3 quarter inch half inch bolt, stick nut, 7 16 U-bolts, left or driver side frame mount, right or passenger side frame mount. Frame mount for the right side or the passenger side, here's a depiction of how things will go in ahead of time. These are, these are the position of your 3 8 hardware here and here. Inch and a half, half inch with your stick nut, washer and lock washer. Let's be on the left side or driver's side again. Your inch and a half, three inch hardware there and there. This will be a four, half, four and a half inch, half inch bolt, large washer, washer through the frame, another washer, lock nut, and nut. These will be your U bolts, your 7 16 U bolts. Two washers each with your high nuts and it's really critical that you don't cross thread these. These are very fine threads. So here we're popping the wire loom from the frame in order to slide the slider mount up underneath of it to not pinch anything. Putting the long half inch, four and a half inch bolt through the rear of the slider mount all the way through the frame. Make sure to include the large washer, the half inch washer and split nut. On the back side, another large washer, half inch washer and half inch nut. Here from the bottom, inch and a half, three eighths, washer, washer both sides, split nut, nut. Okay, let's tighten that down and make sure our lines are clear. Well, we're making sure as we're clearing all our lines here, which we are, we want to make sure these washers are slipped behind without damaging these lines But here. All right, once we're satisfied we're in place, we're not going to, we're clear of everything. We're going to tighten everything down. Here we're going to hang the rear U-bolt. You can do this by just approximating how far from the two feet the mounting points are. Hang it up behind the frame and over, making sure not to pinch any wire looms or anything else. Once you put the slider up in place, you can slide it back and forth along the frame for the final fitment. You're gonna put washers, your 7 16 washers, and your two high nuts. Okay, go ahead, you get the back side, you can see it. So we have two inch and a half, three eighths nuts, or bolts rather, that we're going to insert. We're gonna leave them loose so we can adjust the slider back and forth and make sure it's sitting level on your truck. Got it started? It's in there, yeah. Okay. We're measuring front and back. Make sure we're the same. So I like to use this body line right here. Put my tape over the top. Right now, I'm at four and an eighth in the front. He's gonna start tightening it down, and as we get closer, we're gonna make our gaps from here to there, from this body line down to the top of the slider the same. So what Ro Noah is doing right now is he's tightening up the the hex nuts here on the U-bolt, so what you need to make sure is you go back and forth. Don't tighten one down all the way. Go back and forth to make sure it's even. That way the back of your U-bolt is sitting flush up against the uh, frame here and you don't have any gap. So you can put that U-bolt on. If you tighten the bottom side down, you can actually get a gap at the top back here on your frame. So you want to make sure you go back and forth evenly. But right here we're, we're, we're making sure we have no gap back here that the U-bolt is sitting flush up against the frame. <laughs> Didn't move, I'm at four and a sixteenth.
So here we're on the passenger side, putting the frame mount up against the frame. Now it's coming up underneath the skid pan for the fuel tank with an inch and a half, three eighths bolt. Right there, just taping the nut to your finger. That way you don't have to hold it with two fingers. You can just hold it and you can get up in there in a tight spot easier. You just hold that on top of that bolt. Yeah, I've got this. And now your stick nut. With the stick nut for the passenger side, you want to take it right around this crease here and bend it right at almost a 90 so you can slide it up into the frame and get that bolt threaded in. All right, so you got your lock washer, your half inch washer, and your large washer on this inch and a half bolt. And you want to take your stick nut and stick it up on through that hole. Make sure you can see the threads in through the hole on the uh, mount. Get it on in there and thread it in. Line it up level where it's not sitting with the sag. Get your three quarters or 19. And tighten it down. And then that stick nut will stay in there. And right here, there's two tabs you have to pop off the frame. Actually, there's uh, three. Get those wire looms pushed up. That way there's clearance for your U-bolt to come up around and grab the frame from the behind without grabbing a hold of those wire looms. So here we're going to loosen the bolts that hold the skid pan in place on the passenger side. Don't remove them all the way, just drop them so you can pull down on that skid plate in order to get yourself enough clearance to slide that U-bolt up behind the frame and rotate it so you can mount the slider. You have two wire looms that feed back over the top. So make sure you feel up behind there to make sure your U-bolt is not pinching them between the frame. In order to get this U-bolt behind your frame and in between your fuel tank, don't take them all the way out, but you back out. You've got one, two, three, four, five bolts holding the skid plate up. Just back them out about a half an inch. Feed your U-bolt up back, making sure that you pop these wire looms up. That way you're not pinching them. Make sure your U-bolt is free and clear, which it is. Okay, and then what we had to do to get the uh, 3 8 inch and a half bolt tight in the back, you take a 14 deep socket. You come from behind over the cross member, come down, get that 14 on there, Come across here, tighten it down. Now your foot's in place. Okay, and once that's complete, what we're gonna do now is get everything tightened back up, ensuring that you tighten all the bolts that you backed out of the skid plate. You wanna tighten those back up in order to get ready to hang the slider. We're using our inch and a half, three eighths bolt going through. We're getting it put on loose. That way we can have room for adjustment back and forth, up and down. Okay, I got this, go ahead. So we're just getting one put in for now. And then we're gonna come to the rear and we're gonna get our U-bolt put through. Get it lined up, I got this. You're gonna get your 7 16 washer and high nut both top and below, make sure you do not cross thread this. And again, just like the driver's side, we're gonna get this snugged up by hand and we're gonna go back and forth, tightening it top and bottom, that way the back of that U-bolt is tight universally against the back of the frame. But before we do that, we're gonna do one last check up top to make sure we're not pinching any of those two wire looms that run across the top of the frame. Okay, I'm gonna fit up here. Feel them. Yep, they're clear. We're not pinching in anything. Gonna come back through, put our second inch and a half bolt in the top of the frame mount here. So make sure you put your lock washer washer on the bolt side. Feed it through, washer. 
nut. By hand, that way we have room for adjustment up and down. Okay. So we've got some play in our slider mount here. And what that does, you're just gonna get those loose, hand tight, and that allows you to adjust the slider up and back and forth, up and down to get it set nice and level. So you just wanna get those hand tight in there, but that's why these move back and forth until you get them tightened down. Okay, so go ahead and snug those down when you're happy with it. So just get one good and snug for now. Yeah. That way it holds it in place. So here on the passenger side, you wanna make sure that your U-bolt is flush because you don't want it rubbing up against your fuel tank. So once you're happy with the fitment of your slider, make sure you go up through and you tighten everything down and then your install will be complete. Mm -hmm.